What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Ant Brad from My Singing Monsters. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top. So we're gonna bring that down toward the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now I wanna leave a large gap in between the eyes so we'll draw the same size circle on the right. Just line up the top of that circle. Bring that down towards the same height and then back up. Now we want to add a thick trim around the eyes. So we're going to trace this circle on the inside, starting from the top in the middle, and go all the way around and then back up. Let's pull the pupils down towards the bottom right. So we're going to draw a smaller circle, go all the way around in, and a small highlight circle along the top, and then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Now let's move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. We're going to start directly underneath the left eye, start by curving this down the middle, and then back up. Let's round out the top corners of the mouth, come around, out, and then down. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. So we'll start on the left, bring this down in the middle, and then back up towards the right. Now just like we did with the eyes, we're going to trace the mouth along the inside. So we'll start on the top left. down towards the bottom, and we'll trace the bottom of the mouth. Let's add those two large teeth along the bottom. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a half oval, going up and then down, and draw one more on the right. Now we're going to place the tongue in the center of the mouth. We're going to start over on the left, curve the tongue, coming down the bottom, round this out, and then pull that up like a large U. Now we're going to round up the top and just pull that in towards the center. So we'll start on the left, going up, and bring that down, go to the right, go up, and then down, and then we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we're going to go up to the side of the mouth and draw a curve going out and then up towards the base of the horns. And then we'll add a socket for the horns. Going in, up, and then out. Let's close off the top of the head with a curve going up, across, and then down. Let's add two small horns along the top, going up, and back down like a half oval. Now from here we're going to place some leaves underneath the mouth. Let's start right in the middle, over on the left side, curve this down and then in toward the center, then this out and then back up towards the right. Let's add another leaf on either side, come down and out, go out and back up underneath the lip. Let's add one more on either side. Coming down and out. Go up and then in toward the corner of the lip. Now from here we we'll draw the inside edge of the arms. Let's start from the outside leaf, curve the arm going out, and then bend that in. Now you want to round up the thumb, coming down, and then bend that up. Now you want to add three fingers on either side. Let's start on the outside of the thumb, bend the first finger, going out and then down. We'll round out the finger, go up and bend that in.
Let's add the second finger. Start from the bottom, going out, up, and in. Now we're gonna add one more finger. I'm just gonna blend this up and towards the arm. Pull that up and then in towards the base of the horn. Now let's go back and add the fingernails across the thumb and the fingers. We're gonna start along the bottom, draw an oval on both sides. Now for the fingers, we're gonna push the nail out towards the outside. So drawing a half oval going in and out. Let's go in between the thumbs and draw the body. Coming down in the center, across, and then up. And we'll add a small oval in the center of the body along the bottom for the belly button. Now we're gonna tuck the legs in underneath the body. You need a gap in the center, and start over on the left, bend the leg going out, and then down towards the ankle, go to the right side, and do the same thing. Now we're gonna add a toe pointing in. From the ankle, come in, round up the toe, and then bend that back out. Let's draw the first toe from the bottom of the foot, Going out and then down, round up the toe, go up and then bend that in. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add two more toes on either side. Start from the outside, go out, up, and in. And we'll do that one more time. Go out, up. Just pull that in towards the ankle. Let's go back up to the top and draw the outside of the leg. We start underneath the thumb, we bend this out, come down, and just bend that in on top of the feet. Let's add the toenails. Start from the top, draw a half oval, coming down and up. And just like the fingers, we're gonna go to the outside and draw a half oval. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the outside of the horns. Let's start from this point. We're gonna start by going up and then bring that down and then in towards the arm. Just gonna draw a curl coming around, up and in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. So we're gonna start from the top Go up, come down along the side, and then we'll just curl that back up and in. Now from the tip of the horn, I'm just going to taper this around and then in behind the arms. Let's go back to the base of the horn, curve up, and then pull that down in behind the top of the arms. Let's add a couple small leaves along the top. Start by going out and then up. Come in and then back down. Let's add a little bit of wood texture to the horns. We're start from the top, then it's up and out. Step down, draw a short line. Come down and draw another curve. Now we're gonna add a leaf texture across the arms. We're gonna start from the top and work our way down. Let's start from the top of the arm on the outside. We're gonna add one leaf. Coming down and in. Come in and up towards the side of the mouth. Now we wanna create a layering pattern by adding the second row underneath. We're gonna start from the outside. Come down and out. Go to the right. Come down and in. And just curve this out toward the side. And it'll go back and add another leaf in the center. Start from the inside edge, come down and then in towards the middle. 
Now we're gonna repeat that pattern going all the way down towards the bottom. Try to aim the center knee towards the hand in an angle. Try to have enough room to add one more leaf along the bottom and then one more off to the side. small curve just up above the thumb. Now along the top of each leaf, I'm just going to add a small line coming down the center. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Antebrad from My Singing Monsters. If you enjoyed today's lesson, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.